going on YouTube? We are back with another gym video. Um, missed a couple days. I was out of town, so I couldn't really vlog that much. I didn't have any of my equipment. Um, but we are back. Uh, for the last time, you guys saw me. I think I was hitting some chest, even though I was a little sore. But we got a lot of time to recovery um, or to recover. Um, while I was gone, I hit um, some back and some legs. So we are back to really just another upper body day. Um, that's usually how my split goes. Um, so we're gonna hit some buys, some tries, some shoulders. Um, the only thing we're not gonna hit today in our upper body is back. Um, but yeah, man, we're gonna have a really good push day and some, uh, we'll do some pec decks. Um, get our shoulders in and we're gonna get a good pump man um, it's a beautiful day today I wish I could have went on a run a little earlier I had a really late start of the day I woke up really late but I'm going to the gym now um, we do need a meal prep today so maybe um, I'll record a little bit of my my routine whenever I cook because it's really the same stuff every time um, you know it's really hard because how clean I'm eating right now, my energy levels are so low because I'm really not eating as many calories as I did when I was bulking. But, you know, we're, <clears throat> we're getting through this cut and uh, we're definitely seeing progress, man. Last night is when I really looked in the mirror and I saw a lot of the stuff I did compared to when I was bulking. I see the definition finally coming in, but enough talking. We're gonna throw down this uh, Smurf juice. We're gonna head straight to the gym, man. See y'all there. Alright, we're gonna start off with some shoulder mobility. Um, I usually do this right before I do any kind of chest work. I'm just, literally I'm not putting a lot of weight on it. I'm just starting my motion from here and bringing it this way. And just kind of feeling my shoulder rotate. So try to keep your elbow like this and just, boom. It's not really to get any kind of pump in, it's just to really get warmed up, especially if you have shoulder problems. It's really boring, and I sometimes forget to do that, but it's it's pretty useful um, getting your your kind of your rotator cups warmed up. Um, you can also do like some overhand ones like this, um, but I usually just get it warmed up like that and move on to the next one. All right, next we're gonna be start getting the biceps warmed up. Um, I don't really like necessarily warming them up like I do with sh like shoulders, where I'm just not putting a lot of weight on it. Usually like to get a good medium amount on the cable machine. <clears throat> and I'll do single arms. And you really just want to get a nice slow squeeze on it. So I'm gonna be starting right here, coming up, and really just focus on controlling the weight going down. So I'm gonna do about eight of these. I think this is uh, 35. All right. I'm probably not gonna go that heavy today. I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna try to work on some uh, tricep work too with some close up. Um, and then really work on uh, controlling instead of just bouncing. Cause I have a big habit, especially when I get heavier, is I'll bounce it a lot off my chest, which is good to a certain extent, but I usually do it a little too much. Um, so we're gonna work on that, not go too heavy. Maybe go up to 225, but uh, not much heavier than that, so we'll get right into it. Whew, that felt good, man. This, this bench is really fucking slippery, so I can't get a good... Um, good grip on my back when I'm squeezing my back together I just tend to slip out from it so um, usually if they have elastic bands I'll put it I'll go see if they have some I'll put it from the head to the bottom and it just gives you a little extra grip so you kind of stay latched in there so no less elastic strap unfortunately they sometimes have a big old fat one but I don't know where it goes. Um, so we're just gonna have to roll all of this 
Um, try to just plant my back into the bench and make it stick there. But that's definitely gonna affect how heavy I can go because I don't want my back to be slipping out of place when I'm trying to um, kind of stabilize it. Um, I don't know why this thing is so slippery, but we're gonna get it done regardless, man. That was fucking terrible. So, 225, not bad. Definitely could have got a little more. So my hands were getting real sweaty and then and they were slowly like sliding off. Even though the grip is pretty good on this bar, fried chocolate would have been a little better. Um, we're gonna try some close grip now. Um, end it off with a little drop set and then we're gonna move on to our buys and go from there. Uh, 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 it's really hard to go close to failure on bench if you don't get a fucking spotter because you can't only bench it's like fucking going suicide dude holy shit hit some bicep curls on the cable probably gonna spam the fuck out of these ones just so I don't have to do uh there's a bunch of people on dumbbells right now so I'm gonna spam the fuck out of this and then move on to tries Try time, try time. We're gonna probably do three sets of each kind of grip and uh, and then we'll move on the shoulders and be done. Whenever you're doing these and you're starting out, especially with lighter weights and you can control it a lot better, what I like to do is, when I'm pushing it down, I'm thinking about literally ripping this metal bar in half. And while you're putting that pressure on the outsides, at the end of the movement, you're gonna feel your fucking triceps being fucking flexed. So, definitely do that if you have a hard time engaging your tri. Um, just helps me a lot, but we're gonna go up now. Fuck, dude. So good. Hit 
the, some shoulders real quick. Um, they'll probably hit some skull crushers after this, then cardio, and then we'll be done. Hit the sauna right after. And we'll call it a fucking day, dude. Oh. <clears throat> Dude, that shit fucking blows up my elbow. Holy shit. I think I'm done with that fucking thing. Alright man, that was a good upper body day. I don't know if I recorded the uh, last part where I was doing some some incline skull crushers, but we got that done. Um, I don't know what the fuck happened. I think I cricked the fuck out of my neck. Uh, shit's sore, but we're gonna go head over and do cardio and finish up. <clears throat> Wait, is something in there? Oh shit, no. Why is this? Why is it tweaking? All right, guys, we're back from the gym. Uh, we stopped by Giant beforehand and picked up some uh, essentials. Uh, today we're gonna be uh, meal prepping some chicken and rice, um, and I'm gonna show you all the the secret sauce on how to season everything. Um, first thing you want to get is some Goya adoba. Adobo. All, all purpose seasoning. Uh, I always use this on my chicken. Uh, next, we are gonna get some <clears throat> paprika. It's essential as well. And the final thing is some, where's that? Oh, right here, some black pepper. You don't need much more than that. Um, Especially since I'm cooking a pretty big chicken breast. I like to cut them in half so they thoroughly cook through it, I guess. Um, so you're just going to cut it like this. Usually I'll cut them into a bunch of small pieces, but I don't feel like doing that right now. So there are two halves. Um, and actually, I need a bigger cutting board than this. Uh, first, you're going to really want to um, work in some of this Goya Dubbo. Um, so I'm going to put a good amount here and just kind of just really layer it on top. Once that's pretty good, use our paprika, same deal, just pour it all over and then kind of just work it into the breast. Because um, you want about five to, to eight ounces of, of chicken when you're cutting. Um, that's like a good serving size. You get a good amount of protein in there. Um, and it's not that many calories, even though it's really hard to go above your daily macros if you're eating clean like this. Um, it's still good to be conscious about like how much chicken you're eating, even though it's clean. Um, so we got that. We're going to get some black pepper, just 
sprinkle it on there. I'm gonna put this in for uh, 375 for around 15, 16 minutes. Um, and what you're gonna wanna do is flip them halfway through as well. In the jasmine rice um i usually eat about two cups and that's usually good for about five uh bowls of the chicken um i usually put about 150 grams to like 200 grams of rice um that usually fills up uh, always wash your rice because it's covered um starch so you're going to want to pour it into a strainer like this and take it over the sink and just Wash it for maybe like a minute. Not not much. I mean, maybe you're supposed to do a little more, but usually I just do it this much, and it, it's just able to get my rice a lot more stickier. Um, that's the way I like it. So, all right. So our chicken is ready. Uh, it looks like a good color. We're gonna flip this thing over. Perfect. Put it back in and we're gonna do um, 375 like I said and we'll do it for another uh, we'll do seven minutes boom and take it from there <laughs> 